Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello. Yay. So we've actually been out and done the thing that we're going to show you <laughs> next. But the reason is we got up really early and well, I, I'm not very good in the mornings. I can barely function. So <laughs> I suggested that we film the intro a little bit later on, which yeah. is what we're doing now. So we've been you're moving the camera further. Sorry, sorry, away. <laughs> I'm just resting my arm. It's getting um, heavy. So we've been to the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. We're in Russia. It's the second largest museum in the world. Yeah. First one is the Louvre. It is huge. Uh, it consists of four buildings and there's artwork and loads of different items. In fact, if you stood and looked at every item for one minute, you would spend six years there. Oh gosh. We didn't spend six years there. No, I don't know how long we were there actually. <laughs> About three hours, I yeah. think. We were on a tour, that's why we couldn't um, like talk to the camera or because it was quite like a um, private tour. It's yeah, and we had people. earpieces in as well. So as we were going around, we were getting information from our tour guide. So then it's really difficult to talk into yeah. the camera while you're also hearing information from a tour guide. So this is going to be a montage of our uh, day at the Hermitage Museum. Yes. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll take a look at what we got up to.
Hi guys. Okay, so this is quite a few days after our first day in St. Petersburg. It was really cool seeing the paintings by Leonardo da Vinci and by Rembrandt. I really enjoyed hearing about like the stories behind some of the paintings. So when it came to the end of the tour, we went into what was called the gold room. There was just gold jewellery from years gone by, I mean really far back, but we weren't allowed to video any of it. It was this vault and they had a guide that had to go around with us, there was security in there, so yeah, we couldn't get the camera out in that room. But it was a really great experience, and what we're going to show you now is the second day, I'm sorry if I'm sweating, I just got down from hosting the cruise show that we have on board the uh, ship. So yeah, I'm a bit hot and bothered at the minute. So the second day in St. Petersburg we went to Catherine's Palace, so we go and take a tour of the palace, we also take a tour of the gardens and what was nice about this day is that we were able to talk a bit more on camera. I was listening to the tour guide through my earpiece and then very quickly once she said something, if it sparked my interest, I was then telling you on the camera. So I haven't actually watched this back so I don't know if you could actually hear the talk coming through my earpiece and then me repeating it or whether you can just hear me. Hopefully you can just hear me otherwise it might be a bit strange but yeah hopefully uh, tour guide Martin is able to why are you laughing at me <laughs> the Helena's over here in the corner she, she, she didn't want to do this because she's too tired I'm tired <laughs> I've had a full day of cruising um, so yeah hopefully tour guide Martin can share some of his stolen knowledge with you <laughs> in this next part of the video hope you enjoy So here we have a bust of the architect that designed Catherine's palace. Wow, look at that, Catherine's palace. I love the blue. And then the yellow! Look at the design of the bottom there. Atlas is holding up the structure. So there's the entrance gate that all the guests would have come through in carriages. And then they would have come along here. And then they would have entered here. So Peter the Great had this built for his wife Catherine. Catherine the first, not the second. <laughs> Close a look at the atlas holding up the pillars. I love that. You see, I look like a little elf. <laughs> Staircase made of marble. Little cherub. Here's a model of it. It's a different colour though. It's not blue. Look at this. 300 murals, 700 candles. That's <laughs> gold. Huh. Look at the ceiling. We are in the largest hall of Catherine's Palace. The name of it is Flowers. It's just stunning. Isn't it? This was used for all of the gala receptions. Yeah. I think I heard this right. 25 years it took just to do this one room. Gold finger. Look at those. It would take one and a half years to make one of those just to go around the door. Catherine used to love having cavalry over for a bit of a 
tea party, one of the oldest dinner sets in the palace. Look at that stacked fruit. Games room. Piano used for classical music in an evening. Self playing. So I think this is a portrait of Catherine the Great. And I'm a bit confused with my Catherine's. I think that's the second Catherine. The Chinese drawing room. Portraits of the owners. Peter the First and Catherine. Very different room. No gold on the walls. Porcelain, marble. Designed by a Scottish gentleman. This is the pantry room used by the waiters. I see that Catherine loved her TV. So this was Catherine's Palace before the war, Second World War, and this was it after the war. They had a lot of work to do. VIP guests. I recognise this lady. So we've been through the palace and now we're going to go through the park on the way back to the coach. Yeah, he's in there. He's not out Loved yet. Nice, there. yeah. Very pretty. No, no, well, what would you do with so many rooms? You were saying, where's the room where you just put your jug? Like, yeah. <laughs> where's the room where you close the door and you don't allow any guests in? Like cardboard boxes. <laughs> there probably is one. Central part of the garden. There's two man-made ponds. This is one. So Catherine the Great, who was after Catherine the First, she had a different uh, style that she liked, so she built this gallery. This is Grotto Pavilion. This was used for small musical events because it's got good acoustics we're going in apparently we're going to listen to the uh, choir Catherine the Great again
look how I roped in to do the ending. <laughs> I'm just about awake. <laughs> yeah. St. Petersburg. Brilliant. That's something to check off the bucket list, isn't Definitely. it? Definitely. I don't know if I would have ever had the chance to go to Russia if it hadn't been for this cruise. Yeah. So, and we managed to see quite a lot in St. Petersburg because um, we were there for an overnight. That's why we were there for two days. But no, it was a really good couple of days and we saw some impressive places. And we've actually already filmed part of the next cruise diary where we go to Vardamunda in Germany. Very pretty place, isn't it? Yeah. So make sure you check back in with us uh, next Thursday for the next cruise diary. But then before that, on Monday, you'll have another Disney. Oh, I have Ooh. no idea where we're up to. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm really, yeah, I'm really loving the Disney. Like looking back on them, I'm like, as if we did that. Yeah. So it's cool. All right, we're going to leave you here. Time to go to bed. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>